visit the family. Words are made of letter people. A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people. Today, meet Mr. K. What was that? Hmm, that's odd. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that awful kazoo music. All right, I heard that. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Kidney stew, and for dessert, kumquats. Oh, noble Karen, daughter of King Klong and Grand Shish of Kebab, a most terrible thing has happened. Kermak, keeper of the keys, has kidnapped your father and has taken him to the Hall of Keys. Quickly, darling, ready the horses. We must rescue him at once. I beg you, do not be too hasty, Karen. The king is to be locked in a room behind a great iron door, which is to be fitted with a magic lock. If the right key is not used to unlock the door, the lock will melt solid, and the king will be trapped forever. We must find the right key. Have you any clues to the whereabouts of this special key? Only that it is to be hidden in the Hall of Keys in a place that starts with the letter K. And the letter K starts with the same sound that starts kicking. Hmm. Kernak is keeper of at least a zillion keys. It would take years to find the right one. Unless... Unless what? Oh, grand shish. Unless we summon Mr. K from Letter People Land. Of all who live, he is most familiar with the letter K. Quickly, messenger, send a telegram to this Mr. K. He must come to Kebab immediately. At once, Karen. At once. Between the two of us, darling, we should be able to beat Kernak at his own game. Kicking, I'm kicking for Mr. K's my name. Come on and kick with Mr. K. Come on and kick your cares away. Come on and kick the ball. Come on and kick the can. But never, ever kick a man. Some pretty powerful singing, Mr. K, and some powerful kicking, too. I guess you like to kick a lot of things, huh? You bet, Mr. P. Footballs, soccer balls, tin cans. But, you know, I never, never kick another person. Glad to hear you say that, Mr. K. The way you're kicking around there, I didn't want to get too close. Don't worry, Mr. P. I'd never kick you. Now, what can I do for you? Brought you a telegram. Looks important. Thanks. Say, uh, who's that back there? Oh, it's Mr. C. Hi, Mr. C. Hurry up, Mr. P. Well, what's wrong with him? He's upset about something, that's for sure. Well, you ought to know, Mr. K. The way you go around saying your sound, you'd think it was the only one like it in letter people land. My sound? My sound is the same sound that starts kicking. And my sound is the same sound that starts cotton candy. That's right. Each letter person has his or her own special sound. It would seem that isn't quite true, Mr. K. I'll be at Ms. I's place, Mr. P. Boy, he's really angry about something. I sure wish I knew what. I'll try and find out for you. 
kingly kaleidoscopes. It'll have to wait. The grand shish of kebab is asking for my help. The king has been kidnapped. I have to help find him. Gosh, Mr. P, I'd better get going. Take it easy, partner. Now, I wonder what it is that's bothering Mr. C. It must have something to do with Mr. K and his sound. Think I'll go find out. <laughs> Never again will I hear that infernal kazoo music. And this is the only key that will unlock the magic lock. <laughs> yes, now to hide it. But, but where? Ah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And you think Kernak has hidden the key in a place that starts with the letter K, my sound. The same sound that starts kicking? I'm sure of that, Mr. K. I had my messenger gather some things that might start with the letter K. Perhaps they will give us a clue. Let's see what you have here. Ah, a kite. Kicking kite. Kite starts with the same sound that starts kicking. Maybe Kernak tied the key on the tail of a kite and it's flying over the Hall of Keys right now. I had the same idea, Mr. K, but there's no wind today. Then I thought that maybe Kernak hid the key in a box of tacks. Tacks. Kicking. Tacks. Kicking. No, it doesn't start with my sound. That's right, Mr. K. Tacks does not start with the same sound that starts kicking. But it does start with the same sound that starts tall teeth. This is a fine kettle of fish. We're getting nowhere. What else is on the table? Only this kitten, darling. Kitten, darling. Kicking. Kitten. Kitten. Kicking. Kitten starts with the same sound, all right. Do you suppose Kernak tied the key on the collar of a kitten? No. Kernak doesn't like kittens. And the only thing I have left is that kettle over there. Kettle starts with the same sound that starts kicking. Kettle, kicking. Oh, but Kernak surely wouldn't hide the key there. Oh, uh, why not? Because that's where he keeps his kidney stew, in a kettle. He could accidentally swallow the key while eating. Kaput. There's only one thing left to do. Go to the Hall of Keys and look for ourselves. Come on, let's get out of this kitchen. We have to keep a date with the Keeper of the Keys. Keys. There must be a zillion keys here. How will we ever find the right one? That's why I sent for you, Mr. K. But you didn't tell me there were so many. <laughs> yes, there, there are keys. Keys, keys, keys. Mine for the keeping. <laughs> All right, Kernak, you killjoy. You keep it long enough. Hand over the magic key so we can unlock the door and let my father out. You, you come for the key, have you? Oh, grand shish of kebab, the shish kebab. <laughs> Don't be a klutz, Kernak. Just hand over the key. I, I heard they sent for you, Mr. K. <laughs> well, there's the door and, and there's the lock. Now all you have to find is the key, if you can. Oh, how I'd like to keyhole that kooky keykeeper. They haven't time. The king is supposed to give a kazoo concert at the kindergarten this afternoon. Kindly try and kick the door down, Mr. K. Okay. Oh, that's smart. Somebody's gonna kick down that door, Karen. It's too strong. Oh, I think I just kinked my toes. Kicked them out of kilter. Oh, Ooh. maybe Ooh. you should take Ooh. up karate. I guess we have no other choice, Mr. K, darling. We'll have to look at each and every key until we find the right one. If some of the other letter people were here, we could probably trick Kernak into telling us where the key is with sound catching to make words. What sound catching? That's when the uh, letter people put their sounds together to make words. I still don't understand, Mr. K. Mm, well, all right. Close your eyes and try to imagine what I'm saying. We need three clue boxes and two other letter people. I'd tell Kernak that we knew where he's hidden the key, but he'd probably say something like... <laughs> Prove it. No, Kernak. 
you'll have to figure out the word that a lot of people and I are making. That word tells us where you've hidden the key. <laughs> you, you think so? Let's, let's try it and see. And that's Mr. K in the starting clue box. He makes the same sound that starts kicking. And that's Miss I in the catching clue box. She makes the same sound that starts itchy itch. Mr. T and his sound, the same sound that starts tall teeth, is in the ending clue box. K uh, t kit. The word is kit. <laughs> kit. You, you're trying to trick me. Prove it. Kit. Hey, that's Kiki. Do it again. Kit. Well, kick a fool in Kalamazoo. It is kit. And you've hidden the key in the toolkit. Look. Oh, you found it. Oh, no, no, no. And that, Karen, is sound catching to make words. Oh, that's really keen, Mr. K. Thank you. Look there. It's a toolkit. Just like the one... Do you suppose? It's worth a try. Let's look. Is it the right one? That's a magic lock. If we don't use the right key, the lock will melt solid and we'll never be able to get the king out. It's the right one, all right. I'm sure of it. Look, Karen, look at the difference between this key and the others. This one has a lowercase k on it, and all the others have a capital K. But does that make a difference? Not in sounds. Capital K and lowercase k both make the same sound that starts kicking. But since this is the only key in the room with the lowercase k on it, it has to be the right one. I'll try it. And I hope you're right, darling, Mr. K. <coughs> Father! King Kong! Ah! He's out! He's out! Who let the king out? Oh, oh, that awful kazoo music! They found the key, Kernak. No, no, no! Mr. K, will you allow the king of the kingdom of Kebab and his daughter, the Grand Shish, to reward you with a kindness for your most noble deed? Uh, gee, your highness, I, I don't want anything. I have my sound, and that's enough for me. D and you've used it well. Thank you for your help, darling, and your kindness. Come on, Father, we must get to the kindergarten. It's almost time for your kazoo concert. And I must get back to the letter people. Mr. C was really upset when I left. King Klong, Karen, goodbye. Goodbye, darling, Mr. K. Let's go, Father. My kazoo? Where did I put my kazoo? I, I can't give a kazoo concert without my kazoo. You probably stuck it in your pocket. I tell you, I had it just a minute ago. Now what could have happened to that kazoo? <laughs> Mr. C, wait a minute, Mr. C. You can't leave letter people land. We need you. No, you don't. As long as Mr. K is around, you don't need me at all. Surely you figured it out by now. My sound is the same sound that starts cotton candy, and Mr. K's sound is the same sound that starts kicking. Cotton candy? Kicking? Yeah, those are the right sounds, all right. Yours and Mr. K's. But I still don't... Oh, goodbye, Mr. P. I'm leaving. Oh, this is terrible. Perfectly terrible. Why is he so upset? Cotton candy, kicking. <gasps> oh, hey, now I know. I know what the problem is. Wait, Mr. C, we can work it out. Oh, I need help, help. Horrible hair. Mr. H, he'll know what to do. He'll know how to fix things up. Cotton candy, kicking. You know why Mr. C's upset, don't you? I thought you did. Mr. H, help.